fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Beakity Mission Box 001 and DX Double Driver Raise Buckle Set, as well as the Hatana Mission Box 002. So I put these two together in the same video, it just didn't really make sense to me to try to do separate videos out of them. I mean, the boxes are pretty much exactly the same, except with slightly different decoration and really just different color motifs. So, uh, Bikuri is the Japanese word for surprise, which makes sense, we have an exclamation point here. And then Hatana is the Japanese word for question, again, we have a question mark, so it makes sense. Uh, but again, they're really just the same box in different colors. This one, of course, does come with the double driver raise buckle, so we'll take a look at that. And just taking a quick look at the packaging here, uh, this one you can see we have Geats, we have Double. Uh, over here on the top, just kind of showing you the different storage options. You can store one of the larger buckles, a couple of the smaller buckles, or even the driver you can store in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, over here on this side, just kind of a cool group shot of Tycoon, Buffa, and Geats, as well as the contents of the box. Uh, over here again, just telling us what's in the box. Not really anything going on down here. If we spin it around to the back, again, just showing us how the double driver raise buckle works with the driver, and then showing you the different storage options again. You can actually stack them, so it's encouraging you to buy more than one, which I guess makes sense from their standpoint. Uh, but we will take a look at the box for this one. Again, we have Geats, we have uh, Buffa and Tycoon. We have Geats over here with Boost. Again, just the box. Uh, again, up here showing us the storage options. Not really anything on the bottom. And then the back of this one looks very similar. Like I said, they're basically the same box in different colors. And you can buy a bunch and stack them all for all your storage needs. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much that's it for the packaging here. I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Here is everything you get in the two boxes, and just for simplicity's sake, for the rest of this review, I'm just going to refer to them as mission boxes. But here is the DX Double Driver Raise Buckle. Looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, we have green and black for Cyclone and Joker. You can see Cyclone and Joker loaded into the driver there. Uh, just like all the rest of the Legend Rider buckles, it's just this oval shape, and you push this down to activate it. Here is the QR code here on the back. And it looks like this is number 38. So we will come back to this in a moment. I'm going to put this off to the side for now. And we'll take a look at the boxes. There's really not too much to them. But they are actually pretty cool. So again, they are exactly the same. With the exception of the mark on the top. And the color scheme. So I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to put this one off to the side for a moment. And I'll just use one to show you the features. So as you can see here, we have the exclamation point on the top. Uh, the lid just slides off very simply like that. And you can see that you have a couple connection points here, a couple on the sides as well. They did show us on the box that there were a few different things we could store here in a couple of different ways. So we'll take a look at all of that. So first up with the driver, you can see that there are these kind of connection points right here. And this is where you would hook them in kind of where the belt straps would go. So if I bring the desired driver in here, uh, this is where the belt straps would normally plug in. And you're going to put these pieces here kind of pegging into these two spots just like the belt straps would. So you're just going to load this up. And that clicks in pretty nice and securely. I mean, it's not going anywhere. I don't know if it's fairly heavy, but it looks like it's defying gravity fairly well there. So there you go. We can just take this, put it back on top. And all you really need to do is get it to about here. And then you push it in, it will click into place. There's these two little spots right here. So you can see that this little, very thin little black tab here and here is what's pegging in. And that's kind of what's clicking into place. So the lid probably is less secure than the driver is inside, to be honest with you. But it looks good. You have the Desire Grand Prix logo there on the front in silver, which I think looks pretty good. Kind of wish it was on both sides, but I get it. And then you can see here that we have these four little plastic nubs and they will fit into these uh, little divots here on the lid so that you can stack them. So they don't really lock into each other, uh, but you can stack them. So if I just bring this one back in, they just kind of find that little spot. And I mean, they're not really going anywhere. They don't lock into place. I certainly couldn't pick them both up by this one. But if I move this one here, it's not really going anywhere. So they do, you know, fit in pretty well with each other. So if I take this back out, and to get this out of here, you kind of have to be a little careful because I really don't want to break those tabs, but we can kind of just grab it 
it's a little difficult. I will say this is the one that's most difficult to remove from the box, but there we go. So we can put that off to the side now. So we do have this uh, clip here in the center. So if we would bring in one of the larger buckles, I will use boost here. The section that it uses to connect to the driver is what you're going to plug into that section there. So I kind of find it easy to, um, you have to do it in a very specific way because it won't, it won't fit both ways. This won't line up in this direction. So you have to make sure it's turned the correct way. But you can see that there's kind of a clip here and a clip here. I find it easier to kind of put it underneath one and then slide it down. So we'll just kind of put that in there like that and then click that into place. Now this one is not nearly as secure as the driver is because these things are kind of heavy and these clips are not super tight. But I mean, it won't move around so much, but like if I would turn this upside down, it will just fall out. I feel like this isn't really clipping into place correctly. No, I guess that's it. So again, it won't move around a ton, but it certainly will just fall out. Oh, now it's going to, okay, now it's going to make me look dumb. Earlier they were falling right out, so maybe I didn't have it clicked in completely. But you can see there, you can fit one of them comfortably, and then again we can just close this back up. So again, pretty cool. But I feel like where you really get the most for your money with these storage boxes is when you use the smaller buckles. So again, I'll move this out of the way. And why not? We'll use the double driver here. So again, you're going to click this into the same place that you clicked in the boost one, but obviously it's much easier to do. And you can see it's fairly secure in there. You also have these around the side. So if we bring in some more, these are going to just slide in like so. And we can just load this up. We'll do an all legend rider box. So there you go. You can fit five very comfortably. They're all in again. They don't lock in so much, but they're in there snugly enough that they're not going to move all over the place or anything like that. And then we can just pop this back on and click that into place and you're good to go. Now, at the same time, it is just a box. So if you want to just pop in a bunch of stuff because you really just want to maximize your storage, you don't have to use these like clips. You can just put stuff in it like it's a box. Now, of course, those clips are in the middle, so you kind of have to navigate around those. Uh, if you want to throw in maybe some core IDs, you can do that as well and just use it as a box. I mean, you can fit a decent amount of stuff in here and it would still close pretty well. Now, obviously it's gonna make a lot more noise because nothing's secure in there. It's gonna just rattle around, but if you're just trying to maximize your storage capacity, you could do it that way. You can just go ahead and pop everything in. Uh, even if you wanted to, let me take everything out of here and actually use the clips for the most part. Clip these all back in. You can see that there's still a decent amount of space. Let me turn this one around. There we go. There's still a decent amount of space, so you could still kind of put buckles in between them if you want to have most of the things secure. And that way it's not rattling around too much. And you could probably even fit a little bit more, maybe some more core ID, something like that. And it'll still snap into place. So it's nice. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a shoebox. I mean, that's essentially what it is. It's a fancy shoebox. But you have a couple nice options. You can store the driver. You can store the larger buckles. You can get a lot of the smaller buckles in there even throw some core IDs in. It would be neat if there was like a space for the core, the core ID to click in, but at the same time, that would just be more things in the bottom that you have to navigate if you just want to throw stuff in there like a box. So I guess it is what it is, but I think it's neat. I think the fact that you can actually snap in the driver and the larger buckles is pretty cool. And you can also snap in some of the smaller buckles here so you have a lot of storage op options, which is pretty cool. So I like it a lot. Like I said, it's a shoebox, but it's a fancy shoebox, and it does give you some really nice 
uh, display options. I guess not really display options, storage options. But I mean, it could help you with a display because if you want to have a couple of buckles featured or the driver featured in your display and then store everything else away, this does kind of look cool as part of a display. Plus you could even do something where you take the driver and maybe put it on top, something like that. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up at this point, but I do like the fact that they're very nice and easily stackable. I think that works as well. And I'll just give you a real quick look at this one. Again, it's exactly the same. It's just now you have the question mark. Got the Desire Grand Prix stamp there on the front. And then this opens exactly the same way and has the exact same connection points. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for these. Let's go ahead and move on to the double driver raise buckle. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this on here. So I love that you get the exact riff uh, from the double driver. It says Cyclone, it says Joker. That's absolutely fantastic. Up next, we'll try it with Boost. All right, next up, we'll try it with Ninja. Next up, we'll team him with another rider that's kind of two in one. And then we'll try a couple of the small ones.
And last up, we'll try it with the Magnum Shooter 40X. So like with all the other Legend Rider ones, it just says Common Rider. I think these are kind of cool. I mean, yes, at the end of the day, they're just kind of fancy shoe boxes, but they do give you a lot of cool storage options. You can actually securely snap the driver and the larger buckles or several of the smaller buckles in there, and they won't rattle around too much. And in some instances, I was actually able to turn the box upside down and it was secure enough in there that it wouldn't just fall out. And that's kind of impressive. Uh, but they are just boxes. So at the end of the day, if you want to just throw as much stuff in there as you can and close the lid, that's an option as well. Uh, the back of the box does suggest getting multiples of these so you can store all of your raised buckles. I'm probably just going to stick to one of each color unless some clearance sale happens and they're just basically giving these away, which is possible. Uh, I'll probably just stick with one of each. I mean, yes, we get a storage option every year and these are kind of more on the basic side. They're just boxes. But they are featured on the show, and I think they make uh, sense in the context of the show because they're kind of like loot boxes during a game, which we've seen in different things like Fortnite and other games like that. So I think it makes total sense for something like this. But do I need multiples of these? Probably not. Uh, you're definitely going to want to at least get the uh, Bikuri 001 because it does come with the double driver raise buckle which is absolutely fantastic. Just like all the other Legend Rider buckles, you get the unique sound uh, of the transformation from the original Rider, which is very, very cool. They've been doing a great job with all those, and I've been having a blast collecting them. So if you're on the fence with this, I would say at least get this one. But if you like them enough and you just want some more storage options, I say go ahead and at least get one of each. Uh, they're not terribly expensive for what I remember. I didn't show this off either, but if you want to switch the lids, you absolutely can just to kind of mix the colors up a little bit. That is an option. Again, they're the exact same mold, so you can swap the lids and do whatever you want. But yeah, they're boxes, but I kind of dig them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.